Well, and today we have the privilege to have former Canadian Olympic gymnast Michelle Doyle here on our show, show to talk about her Olympic experience. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. Oh, it is our privilege. So just tell us a little bit what it was like to compete at the highest levels of gymnastics, both at the Pan Am Games and the Olympics. Well, well I guess uh, it's a long time ago, so I'll have to go back into my <laughs> memories. Um, it was definitely um, an honor. It was stressful. It was exciting. Um, it was a privilege to represent Canada. Um, I think that for me, it was my the height of my career. It was my um, my biggest goal. And so to be able to do that and compete for my country at both Pan Ams and the Olympics was just um, so rewarding. Hmm. And, and you're a person of faith. So I'm curious, how did faith impact your athletic career? Uh, you know, it's kind of a hard question because I think that for, for every athlete, it's different. Hmm. Um, but for me, I didn't ever ask, you know, God to help me win or to um, to come first or any of those things. You know, I just helped. I asked and I prayed often for um, to be strong, to be confident, uh, to be the best I could be. And I think that my faith really gave me the confidence in myself to to do those things and to compete um, on the world stage and to be successful. Yes, yeah, so that's really interesting. So let's just touch on that for a minute. So prayer gave you confidence. Um, can you articulate maybe why you felt that was true? Um, I think that when you know that uh, God has given you a gift and he is there to support you mm. and believes in you and is holding you up, um, then I think that you are free to be who you are and the best of you and I think that as an athlete that comes through in your competition in your training every day um, and so I was very lucky to have that support um, along with obviously my family and many other people. Oh I, I love that approach the gifts you had were a gift from God to be used and so maybe just share what was what were some of the challenges of being an athlete especially at that level? Um, I think I was a very young athlete, so as a gymnast, um, I competed at the Olympics at 16, and I was right in the midst of high school. Um, I didn't get to do all of the things a teenager got to do. I didn't go to the mall. I didn't hang out with my friends as much. I was training 25 to 30 hours a week. Um, I missed a lot of school because I traveled a lot. So I think that um, that was some of the challenges. I also battled some mental um, blocks and some, I wouldn't say confidence issues, but certainly um, struggles when it came to certain skills or certain events. And so, you know, being able to uh, come inside myself and know that I had support from my family and that I could pray about it and that God would support me in those um, challenges, I could push through them. Oh, that's really good because I think all of us have mental challenges and blocks in our life that would limit us from what we could fully be or do or actually who God has called us to be. So what were some of the tips? I mean, we talked about prayer a little bit, but some of the tips that you navigated or learned that helped you become who you felt you could be? Um, I think that, um, first of all, my coach was a huge support system for me and being able to talk to her and to bounce ideas off of her and to know that she was there for me 100% uh, was a huge support. I think to practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. I trained 27 hours a week since I was eight. And so there was just that fall back of knowing I've done this a million times. And so that was a strategy for sure. I think too, when you get out onto the competition floor, you have so much adrenaline and you have to allow that to support you and push you through um, some of those uh, fears or hesitancies when it comes to having thousands of people watching. And so um, knowing that I, I love to compete, um, the adrenaline really helped me. Um, those were some of the strategies I used. Oh, I love that because I think all of us can learn from that. Uh, we can all pray. We can all have mentors in our life who encourage us. 
And again, we can all learn through our experience and that builds confidence. Well, that's awesome. So now you're a mom. And my question <laughs> around that is what motivates you now? And what are you gonna teach your children because of your life experiences as an Olympic athlete? Well, they motivate me every day. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that the biggest thing that I got out of my gymnastics career was this determination to be the best I could be at everything. Hmm. And so my training taught me dedication, um, perseverance. Uh, it taught me goal setting. And so I want my kids to have those skills as well. And, and you know, we learn them through school and they learn them through sport. And I think that despite COVID for the past year and a half, um, encouraging my kids to try sports and to pick the one they love and to excel at that uh, will help them to develop those skills um, just as I did. Wow, well, that was so helpful. Thank you for representing our, can our, our nation. And thanks for all that you've done. And, and I know you're gonna be a great mom. And so thanks for being with us on the show today. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.